how to use workday function in microsoft excel hello everyone welcome to excel 10 tutorial in this function explain video series i'm going to show you how you can find out the delivery date for a product using the function workday okay i'm going to explain the workday function in details here i'm going to talk about the parameters i'm going to talk about how you can use it and what are the important things you should consider while using the workday function let's get started <laughs> let's say we have our order date here when the order was placed and this is the processing time in working days and i need to find out the delivery date okay and again we have two holidays during this data range or during this time frame so i would like to exclude them from my processing time okay so our processing time here is in only working days so now let's start the workday function and learn how you can use it so right equal to workday now here in the tooltips it says returns the serial number of the day before or after a specified number of workdays okay now you can find the previous workday using this function and you can find out the next workdays using this function and if i double click here the first parameter is starting date so for this row this is the starting date or this is the date the order is placed now remember workday doesn't count the starting day as a work day that means if the day is 10th november then it's going to start the day from 11th november and we have a holiday at 11th november so the next day will be the first working day that is 12th november now let's go to the second parameter and click on how many days we are going to take to process our product it's five days and that means i'm going to show you the date after five working days okay now press call and if you have holidays you can select here and I have two holidays so I'm going to select here and if I press enter you can see this is the day usually you will get a serial number like this and then you'll have to click on here and format this cell as date so this is our delivery date using the workday function i just found out the delivery date now let's count it manually you can see our order place date is 10th november which is this one so workday doesn't count the first date as starting point so this doesn't count and then the 11th november it was holiday just here we have listed it and 12th november this is the first working day so day one and 13th november is again holiday then 14 and 15 weekends and then 16 is the second 17 18 19 so this is the fifth working day and this would be our delivery date okay we have starting date two holidays and five working days so this is our delivery date now if i apply the formula to all these dates so i need to simply click here and drag it so these are the delivery dates for our products okay and we just find that out using the workday function so this is how you can use the workday function in microsoft excel and you can find out the date after certain working days excluding the holidays and excluding the weekends thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe thank Thank you.